Hello everybody, um, what I'm going to do today is just teach you some really simple Java. Um, I'm using a program called uh, NetBeans IDE 6.9.1 and you can, you can download this for free at um, java.sun.com I'll put a, a link in the description. Um, but what we need to do is firstly create a new package, so Java and Java application. You don't need to worry about any of these yet. Um, and get, you can get into these later on if, if you really want them. But we're just going to use a simple Java application. Um, and I'm just going to put this in here. You can you can set these to anything you want. Really, I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So here, I'm just going to put in example one. Sorry, maybe not. Example two. Click finish. So, it's, this has created our uh, main Java file for us. Here, we, you can see that this is the actual file we're working on, and this is the one here. Now, everything that you do, or most of the things that you should do, should be within inside these two tags. You see, the, you see how they've highlighted. So we're going to put something in there now. I'm not going to type out all of the code, um, and NetBeans is very clever and will do it for us. All you need to do is type in SOUT, S O U T, and press tab. And that will automatically put in the system.out.print line. Now, if you wanted to type that, you could do system.out, and it will give you some things that you could poss possibly put in there. But obviously, we want the print line so we can click that and it's put the same in but without these in that's fine we can put those in as well okay so it's exactly the same it's just that it's quicker to do south so we don't need that uh, a lot of thing that a lot of the mistake that people usually make is that they either don't put the semicolon at the end or they don't put a capital S at the start. It's vital that you put a capital S at the start because if you don't, you'll get an error. And it doesn't know what system means. So it's system with a capital S. So in here, all we want it to do is output hello world. Simple as. If we run that, we can see here it says hello world. That's it. But what if we wanted it to say something on the lines of hello and name? Well, to do that we have to have uh, a scanner. So we're going to put the scanner up here. Uh, I'm just going to put that there so it, uh, so it reminds me that the scanner starts. Okay, so we can put um, just under that put scanner um, and then the name of the scanner I'm just going to call it scan but you can put anything you can put anything you want to but I'm just for convenience going to put scan I'm going to put equals new scanner and like that don't forget remember the semicolon I remember the capital S. Now, you'll see here that we've got an error, and it doesn't know what this class scanner is. And we can fix that really easily using NetBeans. So we can right click and fix imports. And you see here that it's going to put in the java.util.scanner and remove any imports that might already be there that we don't want to use it will make your program look a lot run a lot faster. So we can click OK and if we just scroll up we can see that it's successfully imported that for us. So now that our scanner is there we can now scan for something. So let me just tell myself that the scanner has ended. OK so now we can get on to actually using the scanner. Um, now if you wanted to put a digit in, actually, 
we'll, we'll, start, we'll start with the name. So, we call what's called a string. So I'm going to put in a string. Don't forget the capital S. The name of the string, and I'm going to, that's what my user is going to put in. I'm going to put in a name. Uh, I'm going to, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to do scan dot next and that's what's in there for us don't forget that now that will scan the next sort of line that's put in okay um, but at the moment it's not going to work because we haven't actually told the scanner what to scan you see here that NetBeans knows that um, so all we have to do is tell the system that it's going to scan anything we put in and you see that the in goes green that way anything that goes into the system when we say the scanner will scan so we can put a question in here so sout please enter your name just move that up there. So what it will do is ask us to enter your name and we can see that name is here but at the moment we've not actually told it what to do with that name apart from collect it. So what we can do here is if we just take the, the, the world bit out. Now the key thing here is that you must remember that all of the text that we as humans can read must go inside speech marks so put a plus there, the plus is vital after every one and we can put in name here and that's it um, I'm going to put a space there and, you, and you'll see why later so we can put another one in here and we can call it space again you'll see why later um, what can we put here this is a simple Java page so when we run that what it should do is it should scan whatever I put in here and in this case it's going to be my name and it's going to output see the difference between out and in going to output hello the name I entered here on line 27 and this is a simple Java page so if I just run that see here please enter your name well my name is Chris hello Chris this is a simple Java page now you see here that it actually has put spaces there and there which is there and there now if I didn't do that and I just did for example uh, that then if we run that again it's going to ask me to enter my name but it's going to put no spaces in there because we haven't actually put spaces in there in the first place so again we run that, Chris, and that's it. Now we can put one more thing in here and we can get the person's age. So instead of putting that, we can now put please enter your age. Now the likelihood is that, oh, that their age is only going to be uh, sort of two digits, isn't it? and they're not going to put decimals in there so we can use integer now just so you don't get confused I'm going to put name there so that we know where's what and here I'm going to put age simple just so we can tell the difference about where one starts and where one finishes now the thing you need to remember here is that you don't need to put a new scanner because once you've declared it you can use that scanner for anything. So here we're going to put in an integer integer and we're going to call it something um, in this case we're going to put age 
and then we're going to declare it the same as here, only a bit a little bit different. Scan dot next, and you see it's put a load of things here. And select like this one, next integer here. This is the key thing. Don't forget your semicolon. But we've missed out something. We need to actually tell the user what they need to do. And we've done that there, so that's okay. So, from here, it's going to ask them to enter their name. The user is going to enter their name. It's going to output hello, their name, and the question, or uh, command even. Please enter your age. But here, on line 33, the user is going to enter their age. Now here, we can pull it all together by simply saying, so I'm going to use the out, put something along the lines of, wow, I never knew that space plus putting name space, don't forget, is plus uh, so what can we put here, uh, age plus, it must be a, a sort of a plus in, in between each one go on here, here, here and here so we're here put years old ok so if we run that it should do what we told it to do. So we're going to run that. So please enter your name. My name is Chris. Hello, Chris. Please enter your age. Well, I'm 16. Wow, I never knew that Chris is 16 years old. And you see here, it hasn't put a space in there where I would have probably liked one because I haven't put one in there. Put a space in there, and if we run that again just to check it, Chris. 16 and yeah there we go it's done it um, that's pretty much it for this time I'll come back with more later uh, thank you